Now the other part of the question was about the difficulty of getting married and it was stated in such a way that it emphasizes the woman you know that we're not going to get married you know and uh, I mean I, I know so many sisters I know some I don't know if I should mention them I won't buy the name but I, I know some you know from my own city in America who all just took a trip you know, this Christmas vacation uh, to celebrate together because they are now past their 40s, never been married, and in some cases probably no hope of getting married. So they said, well, let's just love each other and we'll go have a good time and we can joke and we can enjoy the place they went to. It's kind of nice, isn't it? And yet, Maybe it should make you cry, actually. Because I swear, every one of those women would have been a really good wife. You know, would have been a really good wife. And yet, she never got married. So that's really hard, isn't it? But then also, those of you who were in the sohbah that we had yesterday with Dr. Muna Al-Hassan, you know, she said something really beautiful because she talked about that. That also, we do put too much emphasis on marriage. Because we have a culture in which it's like that's everything, getting married and having children. And um, sometimes women don't get married. Who was the husband of the Virgin Mary? You know, who is the greatest of all women who ever were. And she was never married. And she didn't complain either. And she was complete in, a, in that life. And also you look at Asya, here in Egypt, who was one of the most beautiful, wonderful women. Perhaps she was from Luxor. Um, I would, that would be my guess because Roughly speaking, Ramses and his, or his son or his grandson of Luxor, those were the pharaohs of Moses. It, it's a good guess. We don't know for sure. But maybe Moses was in Luxor. I'm sure he was there. But maybe he was even born there. And, you know, maybe that's where Asia was too. And that's not that important. But Asia was a wonderful woman. <clears throat> and from the time that she took in Moses... And she learned from Moses' mother, and she believed. And you had, you know, min ali Fir'aun. You had believers of the house of Pharaoh in the house of Pharaoh, who, as the stories tell us, if they revealed their belief to Pharaoh's daughter, they would be killed. They would be tortured and killed. So they had to hide it. Yaktumu imanahu. They had to hide their faith. And she has to hide her faith too. And she has to do it very, very astutely. Because Pharaoh will abuse her. He is very abusive. He's very violent. And then you know, in the end, she's killed. She is the victim of the worst kind of spousal violence you could ever imagine. So, um, what's important for you is to be where you are right now. And to be the best you can be right now. And of course you want to get married. And of course you want to have a good husband. And there are du'as that you can make for that. And you should make them every day. And God give you what you want. God give you a good spouse and a good marriage. But it may not be. And you should be complete anyway. And you should be happy anyway. And there are men who never get married too. There are some men who, for whatever reason, they can't get married or they don't get married. And they can be the best of men despite that. So, we do want to get married. That's a norm for us. It's very important. But also, in the end of time, it becomes very difficult. Marriage becomes very difficult. And I think the, the most um, saddening of all things is when you see a woman who really wanted to get married, and then she did, and the husband turns out to be a complete mess. And now she is in greater pain 
than she was by herself. And, in, and this really affects us a lot, doesn't it? <clears throat> you know, if we were a good, normal, living community, which I hope that we will help to foster, but marriage should be relatively easy, and marriage should be properly developed, and marriage should succeed. We need to have a culture of sound marriage. And, um, and, and another thing, too, is that most men and women need to be taught how to live a married life, even though you don't think so. And you're probably even offended that I would say such a thing. But most men don't know how to be husbands. They don't. <clears throat> and some women don't know either how to be a wife. So we need to be taught. And, and that's not surprising, is it? Because <clears throat> human beings have to be taught everything. You know, we, we, are, we have instincts, of course, like nursing the mother's breast when we're born. You know, but most of our instincts are very limited. We have to be taught everything, don't we? And believe me, especially in this time, you have to be taught how to be married. In a lot of traditional cultures, that wasn't really required. And we still have some cultures like that in the Muslim world, where the family is so vibrant and so big, extended families, but good ones, that you know how to be married because you grew up with your mother and father and your uncles and your aunts and, and they had good marriages. Of course, in many Muslim countries, that's not the case. They have bad marriages, but there are some countries, you know, where <clears throat> marriage can be usually, let's not say usually, but often very, very good because they know from childhood how to live with a wife or the wife knows how to live with the husband. They don't have to be taught much, but we do. We do. Uh, and a lot of us are not very socially intelligent, right? The president of my country is a social idiot, right? No social intelligence, a narcissist. All he cares about is himself, nothing else. Doesn't care about the United States. You know, he doesn't care about the world, no. He, he would take everything from him for himself he can get, and he cares about nothing else. You know, that's, that's, but a lot of us are that way. A lot of our husbands are that way too. And, uh, you know, God, and, and, and this is why also it's important for us to develop a culture where we have counsel. Uh, you know, a din nasiha This religion is nasiha. But you don't want to be counseled when it comes to marriage, do you? You don't want anybody to take you and your wife to the counselor. That's such an embarrassment. But sometimes that's what saves the marriage. You have to have good counselors. And also we need to listen to what they say. <clears throat>